everyone talks about innovation today. Is it innovation for the sake of innovation or, is, or it is really important uh, to have innovation in the agri-sector right now? I think it's very important for every farmer to think about how he can innovate because without innovation he might not have a farm in the long run. Innovation usually means lower cost or higher quality. Many farmers, they are uh, producing for world markets. And the world markets, they are changing. The, when I speak to our agri colleagues that travel around the world, they mention to me that uh, precision farming or smart farming or digital, digital uh, agriculture is moving faster in, in uh, Australia and North America as it is on, on this continent, in Europe. So it's very important for farmers to understand this. If they produce for world markets, their competitors are producing at a higher technical level at the moment already. But can innovation be financed by banks? That depends. If innovation is, is an activity of an existing company, a company that has its revenues, that has its cash flow, and in, ad in addition it's making investments for innovation, usually the bank can uh, accommodate that. It will increase the amount for the loan or the credit and it will uh, rely on the cash flows coming in from the existing business. So usually banks do that for ongoing uh, farms. But when it comes to startups, this is a very different uh, area because startups usually require equity and that is not what banks provide. Where do they get the financing then? Well, the equity for, uh, for startups, it, it, it might be difficult. To start with, uh, they need somebody, a companion, that uh, provides equity. It usually means that the uh, entrepreneur of a startup needs to share control, at least to some level. And uh, it also requires that there is, let's say, an expectation that in the future the amount of revenue is, can be quite substantial. So the innovation must be scalable, as they uh, mention it. So it should be able to have it um, extended to wider ranges or to more people or more, uh, let's say, um, areas. And then you need to have uh, to find somebody who is really a bit of an expert. You must understand what your startup is. So very often startups find companions in the same industry. Uh, maybe some kind of competitor, but not really a competitor. So most of the time, startups, they find their the, uh, capital not too far away. Is EU supporting innovation in agri-sector somehow? Well, in general, the European uh, Commission understands very well that for the whole economy, also outside of agri, it's very important to uh, support uh, innovation and growth. So a couple of years ago, they started this uh, European Fund for Strategic uh, Investment they put some money aside and uh, after leveraging it, it mounts up to uh, 350 billion, which is quite an amount. It appears to be quite successful and the Commission decided that they want to enhance it, to expand the, the program and to increase the amount that is uh, available. It is executed by the European Investment Bank, so for larger companies, they can knock on the door in Luxembourg of the European Investment Bank, but for smaller, this would be quite uh, difficult to do, I guess. So what they could do, they could, they could go to their own bank and ask whether they have a program in place from the European Investment Bank in particular to support them in innovation. 